Guys, I never thought the day would come when the Canadians were going to make the Russian figure skating drama look like high school bullshit compared to this mess. Because it is a mess. So I didn't think I was going to make a video this soon. I was kind of editing the Q&A and in the midst of that also editing another video which was voted on on my Patreon. And then this news was made official and I didn't want to talk about it until it was made official. That way there was no way I was going to feel guilty if the rumors were not true. Even though the rumors were pretty much confirmed, but today was officially confirmed. And let me just set this up. Vanessa James is a pair skater who used to be with a former French pair skater, Morgan Cypress. His career ended abruptly when it came out that he was under investigation from Safe Sport. No, that investigation from Safe Sport led to a felony charge against him in Florida, of all places, of course, because he was under investigation for sexual misconduct when it was uncovered that he had sent a dick pic a literal dick pic to a 13 year old girl who skated at the same rink as him. This whole thing blew up. I don't think he's been charged of anything as of yet. He's just been giving the filing of the charge, but he hasn't been charged officially as of yet. They were one of the biggest pairs teams, especially Vanessa in terms of diversity. It was very much kind of, I, won't, I don't want to say tokenized, but used as like a platform of, look, figure skating is diverse and it's opening up to different kinds of people. But when this happened, Vanessa, to this day, it's 2021, and this happened 2020, and we are in April, and she has yet to ever give a statement about Morgan and his bad behavior, his criminal behavior. Dick pic to a 13 year old. And she has never given a statement about even like the simplest, most basic, I am shocked by this news, I had no idea, which obviously she did because there's no way that this could be uncovered without her knowing. But she has never given a statement either for or against him, neither defending him nor defaming him or condemning his actions. So that already makes you want to question her character. And then Eric Radford is a pair skater who got gold at the 2018 Olympics along with his partner Megan Duhamel during the team event. You know, 2018 was Canada's year in terms of the team event. And Eric Rafford and Megan Duhamel have been very prominent because they have always kind of excelled in their field. However, they were never the biggest personalities, but they were a really good pairs group together. And when this rumor started circling around that Vanessa James, who Vanessa obviously lost her partner because of the felony charges, sexual misconduct, him being a piece of shit. All of a sudden, these rumors started circulating that Vanessa was going to get a new partner. And who exactly that was going to be was a mystery. And then when the rumors started circling around that it was going to be Eric, everybody just kind of paused because nobody was ever told that him and Megan kind of were done as partners because they had supposedly retired and instead professionally and were going to continue doing shows together, which they were doing, but had to stop for the pandemic. And then as the rumors started getting more serious about Eric being the partner that Vanessa was gonna be getting, Megan posted on Instagram a statement that basically confirmed that it was true. We've all encountered challenges the past year that we never thought we'd have to endure. I personally have felt betrayer in the worst of ways the past couple of years, this past year included. Personally and professionally, sometimes it felt like a nightmare unraveling in front of my eyes. Right now, betrayal has me feeling numb and shocked, but I know the time will pass and my scars will remind me that I did indeed survive my deepest wounds. As I have in the past, these scars remind me that the damages that life has inflicted on me has left me stronger and more resilient. And Megan herself has kind of been wrapped up in some sort of petty drama shit. Like she maybe speaks her mind very brashly and outspoken about how she feels about certain skaters. And because of that, people have um, been rubbed the wrong way with her because she doesn't hold back with her criticism. But what Eric has done to her is very different because he has gone out of his way to literally betray her and find a new partner without informing her first. And she has since posted another statement, which reads, the main thing about this is that Eric and I had verbal agreements for shows, and we have talked on numerous occasions about doing shows for as long as possible. Many of you will remember that I did two tours while pregnant. Yeah, during the Thank You Canada tour, she was pregnant, and they were still skating together, and she was fulfilling her end of the deal of 
making these shows because the, that is their source of income. They were going to retire, so how do you make money after as a figure skater? You either become a coach or you do shows or you somehow stay in the business. Those are the main ones. And she, while still well pregnant, five months pregnant, was still doing shows as a pairs lady skater. That implies being thrown around, carried, so many things can go wrong, and she was pregnant. I think that shows my commitment to our professional career. I had no intentions of having another baby at this moment, so for those thinking that, this is absolutely not the case. Because a lot of people were kind of using that as an excuse, being like, well, she has a baby, so her career is over now. There's no way that Eric was gonna stop his career if Megan was gonna be pregnant again. I was notified of this team after it was finalized and a release was given. I was not asked if I'd be interested in a comeback, nor was I notified that Eric was considered considering a comeback. And I think that's the main betrayal that we're all talking about here is that Eric behind her back without telling her, without saying anything, just kind of announced this. It's a big slap in the face. Even if I had no intention of turning, I think a chat with me beforehand would have been respectful. The professional skating career that Eric and I worked so hard for has now come to an abrupt end and that breaks my heart and hurts me so deeply. I wish Eric happiness and his new adventures. So... Eric and Vanessa also gave a first interview, but I'm not going to read it. Basically, they're saying that their goal is the Olympics, which also rubs a lot of people the wrong way because now they're possibly going to be taking a spot from a very deserving and hardworking pairs team, like the second best pairs team, which I can't remember the name now. But again, another slap in the face to people that they are also friends with and were also not notified of the surprise return, all because Eric and Vanessa want a next hurrah. And Vanessa, you know, already has a bad standing about the fact that she never condemned her partner for very serious allegations. And then Eric coming about into this team in such a way that is such an obvious stab in the back to her previous partner with which he came to fame and success with also does not paint him in a good light. So. It suffices to say that people have not taken to this news happily. Most of the comments are, I hope they flop. What a betrayal. My favorite was from Fran. Love you, girl. She says, what an interesting mix of abuse, apologism, and betrayal. I don't know how they think that this team is going to be well set up to represent Canada. Canada, of all countries, who has a stereotype for being nice and positive in the olympics the f uh, they have to ooh, the pressure that is put on them now they're gonna have to be perfect superb amazing undisputably the only hope that canada has to get a gold medal this olympics because any other discipline i don't think they got it that is the argument they're gonna have to make to justify being put in the public eye as the representation for Canada at the 2022 Olympics. Like, I think they just set this up so wrong. And the tension whenever they step on the ice and competitions begin is just going to be horrible. I don't think anyone's going to be cheering for them. Like, what kind of... Why would you put yourself, just from a logical standpoint, why would you put yourself in a position when everybody's just gonna hate you and is literally praying for your downfall? Like, I don't understand. In a discipline that is already not the most popular one i don't know if that's what they're hoping that they can fly under the radar but what the hell is their fluff piece gonna be at the olympics what kind of sob story are they gonna give us why should we cheer for a team that a simple google search is gonna show you that this is a team that not only was formed under weird sketchy circumstances but it also nefariously taking away the spot of a young, promising team. It's just, I'm shocked that this is happening, but I'm shocked that this is happening specifically for Canada, who has such a reputation for just, you know, we're the nice ones, we're the good ones. This whole channel is about me just should talk in the ridiculousness of the Russians, but this is serious. Like, this is genuinely serious. This is betraying your partner of so many years, using her pregnancy as an excuse, that's inherently misogynist, by partnering up with a woman who has yet to condemn her ex-partner who has allegations of sexual misconduct by sending a dick pic to a 13-year-old. Like, this is not the pettiness of Yana calling a Terry an illiterate woman through Instagram stories. Like, this is not that level. This is genuine, like, hate and anger that I'm feeling. This is not, like, pettiness and laughing at Medvedeva and Zagitova talking to each other at a press conference. This is different. 
all these people are just tangled up in a mess and nobody really comes out looking good. I do not know how they're gonna gain any traction. Anyone who just supports them, anyone who choreographs for them, anyone who coaches them is just gonna get so much backlash. They've made themselves radioactive. So I don't know what their plan is to represent a country with such a bad reputation, but it's just, for me, it's set up to fail. And the fact that everybody's gonna be cheering and clapping as they do is astounding. So yeah, I thought I would just put out my thoughts because I've been asked about this before and I just think it needs a proper like video dedicated to it. I'm sure you guys will let me know what you think about it in the comments. And yeah, I don't even know how to end this video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>